Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech and today Apple surprised us all and released iOS 18 beta 4 re-release, or you may see it as iOS 18 beta 4.5 re-release or beta 4 revision. This particular update came in at 264.2 megabytes on my iPhone 15 pro max and was released alongside just one other update with iPad OS 18 beta 4 re-release. There's no other updates to go along with the watch OS 11 betas and other things released earlier this week. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the build number and talk about what's new. So we'll go to settings, then general, then about. Now, as you can see, the build number is 22A5316K. And this is a little unexpected as we've gone back a letter, maybe to a more stable release. We don't really know why they've chosen to do this, but it does seem to fix one major issue at least. And this particular update is probably to align us with iOS 18 public beta two. So I would expect that as soon as Monday, based on what we're hearing on different websites, I would expect that Monday at some point we'll talk about releases a little bit later. This update has no new modem update coming from beta four to beta four re-release. And as far as new features, there were a few I didn't mention in the beta four is out what's new video that I wanted to mention here. I did mention they changed some wallpapers with Apple CarPlay, but I can show you that and connected to my Apple CarPlay device here wirelessly. You can see that if we go into settings here and then we go to wallpaper, we have a bunch of new iOS 18 wallpaper. So we can switch between all of the different ones and they also have light and dark mode options as well. So if we go into here, switch back and forth, or we go back to settings, go to appearance, switch to always dark go back, go to wallpaper, you can see the dark mode versions of them here. So if we go back into them, they have dark mode options as well. So that's something they've updated. Some other people actually mentioned that they see updates to Apple music as well. I'm not seeing this with some updated back buttons and more, but it looks like it may be updated for some in beta four to go along with wallpaper. It looks like they've removed the iPhone 15 pro wallpapers. So we have iOS 18. If we go through the collections, you can see there's nothing here. So some of those have not come back with a beta four re-release and were removed with beta four. I'm sure they'll bring them back in the future. Another thing worth mentioning is if we go into our control center and then we turn on the flashlight, of course, we have this nice new animation if you're using the action button, but outside of that, one of the new features with beta four that I didn't mention in the what's new video is this is now supported on iPhone 15 and 15 plus. I wish they'd bring it to more devices, the iPhone 14 or anything that has the dynamic Island with the 14 pro and pro max, but it's only available for the 15 and 15 plus, at least with beta four and beta four re-release. Also something to mention in beta four re-release in the control center, you may have already noticed I have a blank icon and that's because it's the Bluetooth turn off button that we saw before. So it looks like they haven't fixed that yet with the Bluetooth power toggle. Maybe it will be here a little bit later and it's also on the lock screen as well. So if we go into the lock screen, we get out of this, go to the lock screen and then we go to customize and then customize our icons here. We can add it here as well, but there's just nothing as far as its function. It doesn't do anything. So if we tap done, tap on the icon here, it doesn't do anything at all. It turns on and off a little bit, but it doesn't seem to do anything. One thing this does seem to fix though, is it seems to fix the issue with phone calls that many people were experiencing. Maybe that's why they released this particular version, but those making phone calls have said already that it seems to be fixed and it's not dropping calls and working properly. So if you were having that issue, maybe that's why they pushed this update out to get it ready for the public beta release and fix that issue. It also seems to free up storage for those having storage bug issues. So if you were having an issue, it definitely seems to free up some of the storage, whether that's just system data or something else, this will change over time, but give it a few minutes or a few hours. And hopefully that resolves itself and frees a lot of that up. It also seems to fix a lot of different issues throughout. There were notable bug fixes in beta four. They still carry across to beta four re-release such as zooming into photos. And it seems to actually keep the quality as you zoom in. So it's not sort of getting very muddy. Of course it will a little bit as you zoom way in, but in general, it seems to be much better in beta four and beta four re-release customization still seem to be a little bit buggy, but are better than they were before. One thing you'll notice if we switch to tinted, we get sort of this dark widget icon, but if if I switch back to dark or leave it in tinted and then go back out, it seems to sort of switch on its own. So there's definitely some odd bugs still here. However, it seems to respond much better than it did before. So again, if we go back in, 
Now we have the dark mode icon. If I swipe over the swipe back, it switches. So hopefully they fix this in future updates, but customizing overall definitely seems to be a better experience and it's less glitchy than before. The wallpaper dimming bug is still definitely there. So if we swipe up, you can see it desaturate. They haven't fixed that yet. The brightness dimming bug is still there for many people as well as the volume bug. However, that could be fixed with resetting settings, but the volume and brightness bugs, all of the things that were there in beta four are still here in beta four re-release. When it comes to performance, while I've only used this a little bit, it seems to be identical to what we had with beta four. So beta four re-release, whether that's scrolling with promotion or just going down here to your hidden items, everything seems to be the same. I don't notice any difference whatsoever. So no improvements there. I think this is just a stability update to get it in line with public beta two so that it's usable and phone calls function as intended. As far as heat, I haven't noticed a whole lot, but it was a little bit hotter than before with beta four. Of course, it's going to take a few days to know that. And we'll talk about that in the weekend follow-up as far as battery. Well, battery life so far hasn't been great for me with beta four, but it's better than beta three. So if we go into battery health, I'm down to 93% with 257 cycles. And if we go to the last 10 days today, so far, I've had three hours and 33 minutes of screen active time, one hour and 29 minutes of screen idle time, and I'm down to 73%, but I did charge it. If we look at the day before two hours and seven minutes, and I used 50% of my battery, typically it will get me through the day, but it's still not as good as it was with 17.5.1 for me. If you're wondering if you should install iOS 18 beta four re-release, well, if you're on beta three or beta four, I definitely would. But if you're waiting for public beta two, I would hold out for that is that's typically when Apple releases a more stable version, I would expect it to line up with this version in particular. And if we take a look at the date here, I would expect it on Monday along with iOS 17.6 to release to the public. That's typically what I would expect since we have the RC and it looks like the public release of iOS 17.6 could also have a new build number as well. And if it does, I would just turn off the betas on 17.6. And if there's a new build number, there'll be an update. If there isn't, you're already on the final release. As far as the next beta is well, given that we're already getting beta for re-release and public beta, probably on the 29th or Monday, maybe we'll move over to weekly beta release cycles with beta five on the fifth, or they could push it two weeks at this point. We don't really know. We can also expect iOS 17.7 betas as well. Maybe this coming week, we don't really know, but Apple's been doing a lot of different things lately and changing things up when it comes to benchmarks. I did run those, but again, I just installed the update. It will improve after a day or so, but if we go into benchmarks, you'll see, I scored 2,753 for single core, 6,584 for multi-core on beta four. It was a little bit higher for both single and multi-core, but previously when this update came out, it was lower. So it just is going to go back and forth a little bit. And so I wouldn't expect any difference there when it comes to the release notes. It doesn't look like there's anything different at this point, basically the same release notes as before lots of resolved issues, some new issues or new features and known issues, and definitely quite a few things that they've been working on. Now, if you're having issues, be sure to check here first before you report them in feedback as this typically will give you an idea if it's well known. So in search they've resolved issues, but there's still some known issues with settings when navigating to settings general and storage, the settings app might crash if you have not opened podcast prior. That's an odd bug that's still here, but make sure you open up podcasts, then go back in and it will fix it. It's a known bug. And until they say otherwise, definitely don't report on it. But if you have something different, be sure to let them know. So that's everything so far with iOS 18 beta four re-release. It's probably just getting us aligned with iOS 18 public beta two, fixing a few different bugs here and there to make it usable for the public use. So let me know if you've found anything different though, in this update in the comments below. And of course I'll link this wallpaper in the description. Like I normally do. If you haven't subscribed already though, please subscribe. And if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like as always. Thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.